Okay, I wanted to take a minute and uh, try to make a better video on how to record your guitar um, to your computer using a USB uh, guitar cable. So the first thing I like to do is uh, go to my control panel under hardware and sound and then manage audio devices. Then I go to recording. Uh, and you can see here that my device um, has been recognized. If it's the first time you're plugging in, it may have to go to the internet and pick up drivers. Um, so then what I like to do is actually go set the levels. And uh, I do this uh, so it doesn't distort when I start uh, playing. Give it a couple of strums, and if you have any effects, you want to turn those on as well because uh, you want to get the level set appropriately. Okay, so one question that came up in the last uh, video uh, was why can't you hear the guitar through the speakers? So I, I wanted to cover that real quick since we're already here. If you go to listen, and click on listen to this device and you may have to select your output device um, and I'll say apply okay so we're ready to roll with that I'm just gonna say okay and close out of all those uh, next I'm gonna open up audacity and uh, one thing you may need to do if you haven't uh, done this is uh, click on edit go to preferences and make sure that your um, your recording device is correct. So in this case, it's the USB guitar cable. You can see it here, not the high-end uh, microphone. So I'm just gonna click on that. And my output device is, you know, would be the speakers. Um, so I'll say okay. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna pause the video and try to uh, switch the audio over directly to the uh, guitar cable. So let me do that real quick, see if we can actually capture some. Okay, so you can see I was able to record my guitar directly into Audacity as a track. Um, next, I would want to save my project. I've already got this one saved, but I'll save it again so you can see. Um, if I, for example, wanted to export this out as an MP3, I just want to cover real quick. Uh, you, need, you need to download uh, this lame encoder uh, DLL set. And if you go to Edit, Preferences, and then Libraries, there's a download button right here. Um, I've already got mine installed. If you download the executable, it'll actually just install in the uh, correct location. If you download, um, say, the zip file, just the DLLs, you may have to hit this locate button and actually browse for that location wherever you extract them. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm just going to go here, export. I've already got MP3 selected, so the first time you may need to pick that. And then I'll just hit save. And you do have the opportunity to fill in additional details, um, you know, so that it would show up with, with the artist name and so forth, say, in your iTunes library. So, All right, so my next video, I'll try to cover um, how you would take this track and, um, you know, play along with yourself so you could actually record another track. So uh, I'll, uh, when I get that done, I'll link to it right here.